Hey there, this is Ashley at Hedrick Homestead, and today we're gonna to be talking about where to get your chicken feed and how to find a good spot. The first most important thing that you have to decide before you find the place that you wanna get your feed is to decide what's important to you. Do you value non-GMO? Do you want it to be certified organic? Does that not matter to you at all? Do you prefer convenience of a big box store? Or do you like to buy local? So having those key things are really important before you get started with this process. For me, I am very adamant that I want non-GMO feed, but I don't need it to be certified organic. So that helped me determine where to buy from. Okay, so what are some options for buying feed? Number one, you have the big box stores. Let's say like Tractor Supply Co. Or here in the Midwest, we have Mills Fleet Farm. These big box stores are gonna carry big brand names like Purina or a Tractor Supply Co. do more. Now those big brands do have GMO ingredients, although they have branched recently into offering certified organic feeds. However, buying feed at big box stores might be convenient, but you're also gonna be spending a lot more money. They tend to be very expensive. Maybe that's okay if you just have a few chickens, but if you're gonna be buying livestock feed in bulk for chickens and turkeys and your broilers and your goats and your cow and your pig, I don't know, lots of different things, Fleet Farm, Tractor Supply Co., they can get pretty expensive pretty quickly. Now, when we first moved here to the country after the suburbs, back when I was a teenager, I started buying my feed at the big box store because it was so convenient and we had no clue where else to go. We we're like, hey, they have chicken feed, let's buy it. But pretty soon after that, I was like, okay, I want the non-GMO. And at the time, organic was not in the big box stores. And I wasn't too excited about paying those prices. So that's when I started to look elsewhere. So where else did I look? Well, a really great option that's a step down from the big box stores in size is your local feed store. We actually have one of these about three miles from us down the road. They tend to carry a lot more regional brands, small brands, maybe some feed from local mills in the area, and they tend to be a little bit cheaper. They have some great high quality options, and this was a route that I took for many years. After saying no to the big box stores, I went down to my local feed store and shopped there. However, my local feed store didn't carry a non-GMO option. They only had certified organic, which means I was paying a lot for that organic certification. Their prices were still really, really high, and that caused me to look elsewhere again. So where did I go? I went from a box store down to a local feed store. Well, now I went straight to a local mill in a rural part of the state. So I'm here about 30 minutes from downtown Minneapolis. We live in a very semi-rural, just on the border of suburban area. And I decided to drive up near St. Cloud, Minnesota, which is a much more agricultural area. There's a feed mill up in that area that mills non-GMO feed. Now they aren't certified or organic. They don't have any interest in being because that's so much more expensive for them and for the farmers. And then they would be pa passing that cost on to us. However, they know the farmers that are growing this and I trust them to produce this quality non-GMO feed. But that is one caveat. If you are buying non-GMO and that is very important to you, make sure to talk to the mill owners and see what systems they have in place to ensure you're getting a quality and actually non-GMO product. Specifically ask about their corn and their soy and how they know that those are non-genetically modified. Now making this jump and choosing to shop directly from the mill has saved me a lot of money. To put things in perspective, if I were still buying organic chicken feed from the big box store, I'd be paying close to $1 a pound or like $50 for 50 pounds of feed. Where I shop, I get that for like $24 a bag or 50 cents a pound. That's like half price. Now I have to drive a lot further. It's about an hour from me, but I just take my dad's pickup for the day, drive up there, drive back. It only takes a couple hours and I only have to go every few months. Now maybe you're like, Ashley, this sounds great, but I'm like you. I'm still, you know, I just moved to the country. I'm still shopping at the big box store. How do I go about finding a mill like this? Well, number one, you can try Googling it. Unfortunately, a lot of small mills in rural areas don't really have good websites. So I would start there, 
see if it works. If not, I would check out some Facebook groups. Here in Minnesota, we have some pretty great Farm Direct Facebook groups. Um, so see if you can get in one of those for your state and po put a question out there. Hey, where are you getting your non-GMO feed? If Facebook groups fail you, you can also see about if you have a sustainable farming association, a regenerative farming association, a homesteading group, something locally in your area that may have some information for you about where to get feed like this. You're gonna have to do a little bit more digging up front than just driving down to Tractor Supply Co. But in the end, you're gonna get a higher quality product locally produced for much cheaper. If you're in Minnesota like I am, I highly recommend Luxembourg Feed. That's where I get my feed up near St. Cloud and have been buying from them for many years and have been super, super happy. If you're not in Minnesota, I hope you can find a great source close to you. Uh, let me know in the comments if you do so that I can pass that information on to anybody else who comes here and is wondering where to buy quality feed. All right, until next time.